Now, whether on Sunday night you dropped a ball, a moon pie, a blue marlin, a sausage, a peanut, or a stuffed monkey on your New Year's Eve, or just slept through it all, you've made it to 2024. Congratulations are in order. It's Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. Now, we usually drop some news updates, even on the big holidays, but we ran into some technical difficulties yesterday. I made the rare call to just catch up today. I do want to mention I'm born on this day for yesterday, January 1st, for a couple of reasons. First, I think not everyone recognizes this guy as being from Alabama, but they should, even though he was here mostly before we became a state. Second, right now we can use any tenuous commonality between Alabama folks and Florida State folks. Stay with me. Born on January 1st, 1804, Billy Powell of what's now Tallahassee. No, that's not the Billy Powell that used to play piano for Leonard Skinner. This Billy Powell was of diverse heritage, but was born among the Muscogee Creek Indians, also known during that time as the Red Sticks. Now, after the Red Sticks were defeated by U.S. forces, he and his family left and eventually joined the Seminole tribe in Florida. He became a leader during the Seminole Wars and... Although he didn't have the birthright of a chief, his fame grew, and he is casually known to history as Chief Osceola. So that's right. Chief Osceola's from Alabama, and Leonard Skinner's from Florida. Life's full of irony. Let's talk NIL fundraising and some homicide stats. My name's Ike Morgan, and we're down in Alabama. College football is more like politics all the time. People put their whole identity into their side, and they often use it to feel superior to those other guys. In both college football and politics, the media are always biased for the other side. And if you lose, it's probably because some cheating was going on. In the world of name, image, and likeness, NIL, the similarities continue to grow. Just like a political organization will fundraise off the desire to improve on a recent election, NIL funds are wide open to fans who hope their teams can compete better next year. AL.com's Mark Heim reports that the University of Alabama's NIL group, Yay Alabama, was reaching out to supporters after the Crimson Tide's 27-20 overtime loss to Michigan in Monday's Rose Bowl. Aaron Suttles is Yay Alabama's director of content. In a video on the group's X account, he said, quote, In this disappointment, we need to take action. We need you to build Alabama's NIL entity into the biggest in the country. Yay Alabama needs your support. Now, currently, according to On3.com, Jalen Milrow has the highest NIL valuation among Alabama players at $1.4 million. For the second year in a row, Mobile had a fatal shooting during New Year's Eve celebrations, reports AL.com's John Sharp. Now, it was a year ago when a man fired a gun into a crowd, killing one and wounding nine others. He's serving a 10-year prison sentence on the federal crime of possessing a machine gun and still faces charges in state court. About a block away from where that shooting took place, a wounded man was found at 12.16 a.m. Monday on Dolphin Street. The man later died at a hospital. Now, this comes after Mobile Police announced they had increased law enforcement visibility during the annual Moon Pie Over Mobile event. Now, Birmingham in 2023 had another bad year for homicides, although the total went down for the first time in six years, reports AL.com's Carol Robinson. The 135 homicides is nine fewer than the city had in 2022, but it's still more than it had in 2021 and only 13 fewer homicides than the all-time record, 148 in 1933. Nine of the 135 homicides this past year were ruled justifiable. Now, it's amazing how regular the killings were through the year. In 10 of the 12 months of 2023, there were either 10, 11, or 12 homicides. The outliers were July with 15 and February with 2. Well, thank y'all so much for listening. We're going to come back here and do it again tomorrow. Until then, y'all come on by and see what we're up to on the internet at AL.com.